love that little spot of red right there popping in. It's nice and quiet this morning. The sun has started to peak over the mountaintops. See how fast that fog goes away. How pretty is that? So we're at site 35. It's quiet as a mouse up here. I would say 36, 34, 30. Those are, these are all pretty good sites up here. But that view, to wake up, that's nice. <laughs> it's very peaceful. So today we're gonna um, spend our last day, we were supposed to stay tonight here one more night, but the hurricane rain from Florida is coming up and I just don't wanna drive back to Georgia through the mountains. So we're gonna kind of split out here probably three or four o'clock today, but we're gonna go check out some glass blowing. We're gonna go play some pinball, get some barbecue on the River Arch District of Asheville, I believe today. Maybe squeeze in a waterfall, I don't know. Good morning and looking forward to today. It's the coldest hand to run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound The damn smallest crowd But the hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea So, um, the glass, the North Carolina Glass Center, as I was trying to say before traffic came by, uh, pretty cool, educational, they have good pieces you can buy, they're doing pumpkins right now. Yeah, they had a whole pumpkin patch. <laughs> Endless amounts of noise here in the city, so just come here and check it out. It's worth going to, and it's on the Art District, along the railroad, and a river, it's and called the River Arts District, or RAD. Yeah, this is where all the graffiti is, the skate park, all these coffee shops and artist studios. We wanted to spend more time seeing more of the painting studios, but we really had a priority on glass blowing. But um, the Bull and the Beggar is also here, really good restaurants. It's right across from this, so uh, it's a good time. There's a Wedge Brewing Company as well, so you can spend a whole day out here. As everyone knows, Asheville... It's filled with art. Yes, but. very funny. All right, next venture. Now showing Grail Movie House. That's so cool, a movie house. Come check it out, Rosa B's Restaurant. Sunnyside Trading. Whoa, that's gnarly. That's crazy. Ducks into a wolf's mouth. <laughs> Interesting. I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law So 
art district is alive and well with beautiful graffiti. Uh, I've been stopping, jumping out and taking pictures uh, all morning long. Corey's face. That one's pretty cool. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Alright, we are at 12 Bones Barbecue. This is supposed to be the best spot. Opens up at 11.30 or 12, I believe. 11.30 Monday through Friday. Endless. This is an endless art exhibit. <laughs> Look at these. Remember your old Tonka Tinker Toys? One thing I was thinking about right here. Look at the Tinker Toys. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> In a version of heaven for me. The marquee is filled with all kinds of eclectic art and antiques. It's awesome. Look at this. Old antique nut and bolt organizer. $1,500. It's endless. Look at this. That's awesome. That's awesome. Come to the art district. Check it out. Get some food. Go to 12 Bones Barbecue. And come check this place out. Pretty neat. Hey, look at that one. The Lone Camper. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to the studio. That's a cool set too. Thank you. I like that. Alrighty, so we, you want to show them the artwork we just got? Philip D'Angelo, it's called Life on the Farm. Fits pretty appropriately with our channel, right? Farms and goats. Yeah, so we did some glass blowing, purchasing and viewing. Talked to Philip for quite a while. He's actually, for you fellow RVers, restoring an old champion. What year was it? Spartan, an old 45 foot Spartan uh, trailer as his home studio. He showed us some pictures of it. He's now polishing the outside uh, metal or whatever, aluminum, fiberglass. I don't know what Airstreams are made out of. Whatever that. I don't know. Metal? Tin? The tin? <laughs> what are Airstreams made out of? We should know that as our beers. But um, that company was before Airstream. Airstream kind of took the way they used to build jets and everything out of uh, aircraft. the aircraft. Mm -hmm. So the aircraft company started making those RVs and he's gonna make that in his home studio. So um, beautiful morning. We're waiting on this clay store to open up. We got some new coffee mugs. 
it's warm. It is warming up. All right, everyone, we're going to try this again. The GoPro is charged, so you can see the descent. But we are leaving Mama Gertie's, leaving Asheville after being here for a week. And we're headed back down to Georgia toward those Blue Ridge areas. We're going to stay at a Harvest Host Mercier Orchards, which is amazing. We've been there several times. But they're fitting us in. It's the last day before they close down for a month. So I feel like we're going to be the only ones there. But until then, join the road and enjoy. Take it easy. Hope you enjoy this video. See y'all. For the road all my life Thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue And every time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a reason I get the feeling I need A little taste of home, home, home Just a little taste of home I need a little taste of home, home, home I need a little taste of home Nothing like kitchen conversation Steam coming up off the stove 